one of the biggest mistakes I still hear it today from young people. Oh, I don't have to worry because I'm still young. Yeah, and that is death to most people because eventually you get old and then you're not young again. So it's a way of saying, when I talk about assets and liabilities, one of the most important things you have in your life is time. It's one of your greatest assets or it's your liability. And being, you know, I just turned 70 and I have friends who have nothing. I mean, they have zero. Now they made, they've made a lot of money, but they have nothing here. They have nice houses, nice cars, 16 wives, 19 kids. I don't know what they have, but you know what I mean? And, and being young is great, except it can be a liability to you. Because when you're young, you're just having a lot of fun and life's exciting, you know, it's new. So, as a time, but the thing is, this is the lesson today, is so many people spend their time focusing here. They want to make a lot of money. And I can hear it in their words. They say, oh, I want a career. This is career. Okay, or I'm going to start my own business. And this is the chart here, which we've seen. This is the cash flow quadrant book number two. This is the hardest, you know. This is where the big mega bucks are. And Kim and I are here. And the money is massive but it takes time to get there. The big mistake I see young people make is they focus here. And the words are, I wanna do what I love. That's the track. You see, in real life, sometimes you have to do what you hate. Like people think I like to write books, I hate writing books. But it fills my purpose in life. It's not my passion, my purpose in life because my purpose was to get here. A lot of these guys get trapped here doing what they love. And as we've talked about on earlier episodes of this thing, these guys pay the highest taxes, 40% here, 60% in taxes here, 20% here, and then 0% here. So when I was in my, before my 20s, I knew I wanted to go there and it wasn't doing what I loved, I had to learn what I didn't want to learn. I had sometimes to do what I hated. I had to learn about taxes. I had to learn about debt. I had to take classes. I had to learn about insurance. So I was doing a lot of things I hated doing so I could come over here. These guys never do this. because they, they live their passion. I want my passion. The difference in passion is greedy. Purpose is for other people. So my purpose was to come over here so I could serve more people. Most Young people, or should I say, short-sighted people, they think this is it or this is it. But this is the one here. So when I was your age, I knew that the assets I wanted to acquire, the richest people own businesses over here. These guys are small business, self-employed. You're self-employed if you can't stop working. I stopped working years ago because I have a businesses. Very big difference. It was painful, but I got there. So number one is a business. So when I was in my 20s, I knew I was gonna do what it would take to school, study, learn about taxes, debt, insurance, accounting, lawsuits, and all this through business. Next is real estate. I love real estate. But most people can't do what I do because they don't have a business. It was catch 22. They don't have enough money to get over here. Your mom just made that switch to use other people's money. So the reason I make more money is because it's not what I'm doing what I love. I do sometimes what I hate so I can have the assets that I love. I love having a business. You know, if I didn't have a business, you wouldn't be here. Darren wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have a CEO and president. I wouldn't have accountants. I wouldn't have attorneys. So the business affords me the lifestyle I want and then I invest in real estate. I've never gone past a real piece of, a piece of land or a building I did, not, I did not love. And then what most people invest in from there is paper. And that's fine, that's stocks, bonds, mutual funds, savings, ETFs, not my game. I don't love it. 
I actually hate it. But these guys, it's perfect for them to have paper, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETF, and all that, because their focus over here. They want to do what they love. They want to climb the ladder. They want their career. They want this. I'm going to become president. You know, that's not what I wanted. I think it doesn't excite me. You know, it just doesn't. This excites me. So I invest in what I love rather than do what I love. And these guys do what they love. But most of them never get over here. You know, this is like Steve Jobs, Zuckerberg, uh, Bezos of Amazon, and they have all the money in the world. That was my plan. In my world, like I said, I see people, they chase shiny objects. And what a shiny object means is, you know, when you're fishing, you throw a lure out, and this little shiny object goes, and the fish comes and, and they jump in. That's what most people do. Bitcoin today is a shiny object. I'm not saying you can't make a lot of money in it, but most people are chasing shiny objects. They want to make money. They're not building an asset here. The thing, the reason they don't do it here, this is the highest risk. Now, this is what I know. The higher the risk, the more education it takes. For example, if I wanted to learn, and I flew, you know, if I wanted to just fly my little Cessna 172 around the place, not much risk in that. But when I had to go to Vietnam to fly, the risk went up. I had to study harder, become better, work harder at it. The reason most people stay in paper, 401ks, IRAs, and chasing shiny objects like Bitcoin, is because they don't want to take the risk here. They're huge. You've got to study. That's why we have a rich dad's education, rich dad's coaching. All of you guys are allowed to take courses and all this. If you come here, it takes no intelligence to be here. It takes no intelligence to buy Bitcoin. I mean, I have four, four Bitcoin, no, five Bitcoin. It didn't take, you know, just, I don't have to do anything. Over here, I have, to do, I have to know a lot. Over here, I have to know a lot. I have to study. So if you want to chase shiny objects like the stock market and all that, you can make, get rich there. It's really easy to get in here. It's really hard here. Most employees can't stand that because they don't have any money. It's just most people don't have it. They want a job, they want job security, they want a paycheck, they want a 401k. And that's why they don't get to come here. That's why they don't get to come over here. Nothing right or wrong, you know. I don't ever want to be here. I knew when I was your age I want to come here, but the higher the risk, the higher the returns, but also the higher dedication, education, and study you have to go through. So today, and I'm making millions and millions, I make more in a day than most many people make in a lifetime. But it was worth it. Did I lose? Sometimes, yes, but it was worth it. You go to school here, you take no risk. That's why my poor dad was poor. He didn't like to make mistakes. I'll leave you one last word that's very, very important for people to understand at a young age, and the word is called liquidity. The reason this is better for most people is because it's liquid. You can buy a stock, you make a mistake, you get out. You buy an ETF, you make a mistake, you get out. It's not, it's not, it's good, it's important. The moment you go into real estate, you're not liquid. That's why you gotta be smarter going in, because if you make a mistake, you can't get out. And you buy a bad piece of property, you write it down. And the same as businesses, you're in there, you're solid, you can't get out. Like if Rich Dad, you know, Rich Dad's gotten in trouble, you know, with money and like all businesses are, I can't quit. Employees just quit and they leave, they, they run like little rats, you know. But if you're in here or here, you can't get out. So that's why liquidity is crucial. It's very important, which means that's why I have Rich Dad's coaching, Rich Dad's education, with all our programs and all this. But most people are not willing to do this study because they want to do what they love, rather invest and acquire what they love. That makes sense to you? Yeah, totally. So stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETF, savings are good because they're liquid. You can make a mistake and get out. These things, hard to get out of, including gold. Gold's hard to get out of sometimes. Gold's more liquid than this. Oil is tough to get out. Oh, if you make a mistake there, you're, you're gonna ride that baby down, you know? Silver is pretty easy. But the word is liquidity. The less liquid, the higher your financial 
IQ. You've got to be so much smarter. And most people, they have it. They have that ability to be that smart, but they rather do what they love rather than invest in what they love.